Welcome everybody to a new JavaScript tip. In this video, I will show you a very nice feature that was introduced with ECMAScript 6, which is called Array Destructuring. Imagine we have an array of values, which we want to assign to constants. So of course, we can go ahead and write const football is equal to values at position zero. We can then do the same for avocado and bear. If we lock those constants to the console, free emojis get printed. This approach works and is perfectly valid, but there's a lot of typing needed to make this happen. And that's exactly where destructuring comes in. Destructuring allows us to easily take values out of an array or an object. So instead of assigning each value individually, we can go ahead and use the destructuring syntax, which for RS is square brackets. And we can say, okay, we destructure the first value into a football constant, the second one into a avocado constant, and the third one into a bear constant. Of course, we don't need the assignments anymore. If you run this, the same three emojis get printed to the console. So this is the equivalent to the previous code. With the destructuring syntax, we simply say, create a constant named football and assign the first value, which is the football emoji icon to this constant. Then create another constant called avocado and assign the second value to this avocado constant. And the same for the bear constant. So this is called array destructuring. Let's take a look at another example where we update our values with an additional monkey emoji. If we run this code, we see that a monkey gets locked as a third value. But that's actually not correct because we wanted to lock a bear. How can we assign the bear to the bear constant? As I said, the values are assigned by index. So it makes perfect sense that the monkey emoji is assigned to the bear constant. But the destructuring syntax allows us to skip values by adding an additional comma. With this additional comma, we skip the monkey and then assign the bear emoji to the bear constant. So if we run this, we see that we get the bear again printed as third value. So you can use an extra comma to skip a value. Now there is one last feature regarding array destructuring I want to show you. Let's say we want to destructure and lock another variable named duck. In such a case, we get undefined because there is no value that gets mapped to duck. Of course, we can just add a duck to the values array. But often, destructuring is used in a dynamic context. So you don't know what kind of values are passed. And it might very well be the case that the user only passes four items and no duck. To avoid getting undefined, destructuring still allows you to assign a default value. So whenever destructuring assigns undefined to our constant, the default applies. So if we run this code, we would get a duck printed. But let's quickly copy the monkey and add it as a last emoji. If we would run this again, we would get a monkey because we actually destructured a monkey from the values. Array destructuring is a very nice way to extract values out of an array and assign them to constants. But it's not only useful to create constants, it's also very useful in function signatures. To explain this in more detail, let's go ahead and wrap those four console log statements into a function. So let's create a function called log values that then console logs those four values. Now, how do we get to those constants? Of course, we, we can expect values and then inside we could do const football is equal to values at position zero and so on. But as we just learned, there's a simpler way by using destructuring. This code is very nice, but we can still improve it further. Instead of destructuring on line six, we can take the left-hand assignment of the equal sign 
and put it into parentheses. Whenever log values now gets called, we destructure the values and make them accessible inside the functions. So let's go ahead and call log values with the values. And when we call it, we see that our values gets locked. Destructuring is a pretty nice feature that spares you a lot of typing and makes your code more readable. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get updated about new JavaScript, Angular or RxJS tutorials.